and start on kick. I wanted to see if YouTube's up and running as well. My kick is up and running now. I think my Twitch is up and running. Yep, Twitch is up and running. And my, okay, my YouTube is up and running. Okay. Oh, does it have all my, uh... It does, it's funny, whatever. <laughs> uh, I probably can get rid of that quickly. All right, you want to talk for me for a second? I want to make sure your voice is coming through. Yeah. Yeah. Hello, hello. Yeah, yeah you are. Okay. <laughs> so I'll make sure I don't Sweet. want to be talking to myself again. Uh. Oh, yeah, so I got to pull up that email, right? All right. <clears throat> Where's my mouse? Where's the god... Oh, there it is. <clears throat> Where's the moon? <laughs> Pretty much it. All right, here we go. All right. While we wait for people, I guess we can talk about this really quickly because it's 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 long. All right, so, I yeah. want to hear it. All right, I'm uh, ready. The 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 subject is called Amico's Valentine Valentine's Day Update 2024. Happy 2024! A new year is traditionally a time for setting new goals. It's already like halfway through the second month, but sure. Putting new plans in motion. Since our, pre since our previous update in mid-December, we have been planning what we will strive to accomplish in the new year. On January 8th, we published our 2024 Amico Roadmap. Our forecast for 2024 includes some big goals. Open up Amico game development to indie-dependent developers. Indie... Oh my god, that was... Never mind. It, independent. Let me spell indie and independent. Whatever. iOS compatibility for Amico Home. April. Publishing more games. Cornhole, Rigid Fox, Redux Enhanced, and Finnegan Fox. Bringing Amico controllers to market for this Christmas holiday season. Okay. In late January, we updated the roadmap to so show some of the short-term goals we've already achieved earlier this year. Sideswipers AI update. Android TV and Google TV compatibility for Amico Home and Games. In this Valentine's update, we dive into some details about our recent achievements and future goals as we introduce our mascot and some holiday-themed merchandise. Uh... Holiday themed? Yeah. Christmas. Yeah, they're they're planning for what? Christmas in February. Yes. Wow. So basically, we ain't giving you shit until the end of the year. Yeah. Uh, Amico Home News: Sideswipers rides the AI revolution. No, we have not added ChatGPT to the cars, but the latest update available now on Amazon App Store and Google Play Stores adds AI opponents because before you had to play with other people. You can optionally invite them to fill out the four driver slots when you're short on human players. But beware, these AI drivers follow none of Asmov's rules for robots. They will knock you off the track. I probably said that wrong. And if you knock them off, they will trigger traps on you to get the revenge. With each new feature update, such as AI update, we bump the price up slightly until... Oh my god! They increase the price? Every new feature, we bump up the price slightly until all features are completed and we reach full price. I actually don't hate that. I do. Because... I do when their whole shtick was everything will be below $10. Yeah, I, I agree. But... This is okay. So this is no different for like early access on Steam, but the problem is, is this isn't an early access game. This is supposed to be fully done. These feature updates shouldn't be update. Like they, they should have been in the game already. <clears throat> they should have been, but at least if you bought it initially, it's a free update. Yeah. So all early adopters get some subsequent updates for free. So I would. <laughs> I'm. I it's think. not great. I don't know. But that's not terrible. Thank you to the early adopters who reported bugs and made suggestions. This update also includes. Some, actually, I might not be an early adopter. I just pre ordered the damn thing. I don't think that counts as an early adopter. This update also includes several bug fixes as part of our ongoing work on this first look. Amico game. Get it now before the new feature update and price bump. 
We continue to take our feedback as the game progresses and we t test the first look, look program. Blah, blah, blah. More, Am more for Amazon App Store. In the last update, we launched Amico Home on Amazon App Stars with Dart Frenzy and Missile Command, promising more games to come soon. Since then, we have published Astro Smash, Shark Shark, and Side Swipers, including the AI update. The this, that brings Amazon App Store up to date with all five currently available Amico Home games. Amico Home games are compatible with fucking shit of all the uh, uh, stuff. See, <laughs> God, you they, like like five of these paragraphs are just copy and paste. I swear to God. Like the, the Amico Home is compatible with blah blah blah. Is in the App Store. Blah blah blah. It's just shut up. God, right. who wrote this? Amico Home is now available on Android TV and Google TV, such as NVIDIA Shield. What the hell? Un Google TV. Okay. I'm going to move this over. You should be able to see it. Yep. What is Un Google TV? <laughs> on. <laughs> is is that how um, they spell on? That's Walmart's um, home brand for okay. electronics. Okay. That's stupid. Yeah. O-N-N. <laughs> Okay, as well as many Android Google TV devices. These affordable devices connect directly to your TV Oon. to provide... Oon. <laughs> that's how I That's how I thought it would be pronounced. So just, whatever, Amico Home. Install the Amico Home app through the Google Play Store, blah, blah, blah. Same nonsense, different device. Amico Controller. We continue to work hard. We, we continue to work... Oh, God. This is me, not them. This is me just sucking at reading, apparently. We continue working to make our Bluetooth hardware Amico controller compatible with Amico. <laughs> That's really sad. We continue to make our Bluetooth hardware Amico controller compatible with Amico Home on Android devices. Uh, we have made significant wow. progress in recent weeks. We hope to provide a working demonstration in the near future. Compatibility with Amico Home is the first step in our plan to manufacture Amico controllers. Our goal is to sell Amico controllers this Christmas season. For use with Amico Home. Nothing about consoles so far. Let me remind you. They They've haven't given up told us that. they cancelled it yet. But <laughs> progress continues our independent developer program. We are hoping we are working on back end support for the program for communication, delivering documentations, tools, and assets. We are also lining up a handful of eager indie developers to start a closed beta test of the program by the end of this month. We plan to open up the program to all indie developers in April. We eager to see the creativity of indie developers a new frontier Amico game. See, this I don't mind. I feel like having indie developers for an Amico makes the most sense. Because I thought they I thought that's all Amico was. It's that's not, all no, I no, 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 no. It's not just games. it's not just indie games. They're really pushing for indie games though. Who else is publishing for it? Well, I think no, developing, not publishing. This is developing. Who else is developing? That is an indie. Right now, I don't know. I guess just Amico themselves. But I think they... I um, I think EA was in there because they had some baseball nonsense, I think. I could be wrong. Or they might have lied and said they had an EA. You know, that, that wouldn't be too far, like, too far from something. Regardless, I think... I always said the Amico would be interesting for like something like D&D. You have the big screen with all the like the maps and your where your character locations are and the, the your phone or the controller would be like your character sheet. I always said that'd be kind of cool. All right, so that I'm... was it for the indie part. Uh happy Valentine's Day from Miko. We have more merchandise. <laughs> that that's it. Uh th there's I could go about every small thing about merchandise, but why would I? Uh, then the, then the closing paragraph. Thank you all who, for who, thank you. Oh my God. This is me again. Thank you to all of you. No, that's just a show. Thank you to all of you. Yeah, I know. That just doesn't sound right to me. It should just be thank you. Thank all of you or something. we have been sharing your love of Amico with friends and family through Amico home. Thank you also to those standing by for Amico home on iOS or for the Amico console. That's the only time they freaking mention the console. <laughs> God. That was the update on Amico. <laughs> wow. I'm looking at the list of games. Yeah. Like, it's all indie. Okay. 
Um, the the biggest developer I can find is Other Ocean, based out of Newfoundland and Labrador. Oh. And they're not huge, but they did make Super Monkey Ball for iPhone. Um, the Simpsons tapped out. Was them. Um, I'm sorry, this still gets me. We continue working to make our Bluetooth hardware Amico controller compatible with Amico Home. Like... <laughs> I know. Legacy of the Duelist they actually worked on. I... <laughs> I just said fucking why is this... Oh. I know. <clears throat> it's, uh, it's not great. Oh, it's, great. it's great. I think it's great. I think it's hilariously great. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, let's just fucking... Let's get started. <laughs> Did you see Jon Stewart on Monday? I sure as hell did. It was great. Oh my god, I'm so glad to have him back. I am I am too, but so, so many people on both sides are pissed. And I'm just like, what? He's... Is is this new people to everyone? He, 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 he made fun of... He, he, he attacked everyone on both sides all the time. They're Correct. both now. Yes, they're both bad, but he doesn't. St he doesn't actually say they're both bad. He just He's... says they both have a lot of work to do. Are is the are people on the Democratic side mad because because as... he's criticizing Biden? Just that's it. But okay. But is that because they're so terrified of a second Trump term? That they believe that you shouldn't criticize Biden. Yes, at that all. is probably why. Okay, but that's I a don't stupid agree with reason. That, you, no, but... I don't agree with it. I think that's stupid. Um, no, I thought he was fantastic. Oh yeah, I, I thought it, he, 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 never, he, it's like he, he never didn't left. miss a beat. Yep. No, he was great. The um, the election news team segment. Did you see that? Uh oh yeah, with the uh, in the different the the, the diner. Yeah, oh my god. And the guy at the end, like, talking while eating. <laughs> yeah. The poor woman was, like, using a shirt to try to, like, hide that she was just completely losing it. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, it was so good. Okay, how is I gonna do this again? I think I'm gonna send you out. Now I gotta fucking remember- Oh, we oh my god, why is this not done yet? <laughs> Holy shit, why are we still here? <laughs> Just to suffer? <laughs> I'm not letting Irene die. Just Come on, Irene. From Irene. Uh. Yeah, no, it was great. I was, I was, I, I, they had it up on YouTube like 20 minutes for free, and then I went to ComedyCentral.com and they had the whole episode up for free. I'm like, oh, okay, I'll watch all 45 minutes of it. You must have had, you must have VPN that. No. <laughs> Why? Well, I, I would never. I would, I would never. never use a VPN. How dare yeah. you? You accuse me of such a heinous, a heinous. crime. <laughs> <laughs> oh god uh yeah because i mean and frankly i should probably grab a vpn because nowhere in canada has the rights to it that's crazy um the ratings got so bad and under under trevor noah um that CTV really dropped it really yeah that's crazy yeah i mean i don't think he was terrible he just wasn't john stewart well <laughs> No one's John Stu. I don't like. I, I. No matter. They can't. Yeah. Yeah. They're never yeah, gonna no find one... another John Stewart. Nope. Um. So yeah, they they dropped it to I guess to cut costs and the uh, the end result is no Daily Show in Canada except for on Paramount Plus the day after. Mm hmm. But there's no live uh, viewing option. Yeah. 
Uh, but no, that was that was fantastic. Um, yeah, overall, was it um, Indecision twenty twenty four? What the he- what the fuck are we doing? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I can't remember whether it was the final one it was the antique road antique show. Road show. <laughs> that one got me. <laughs> but it's true, like how how are your two candidates like eighty what is it, eighty one and seventy seven? I think so. It might even be tighter than that. I think I think Trump's four years younger. But like, I love how I, 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 I just, I, like both sides are nuts. Like, it's all bad. It is. Like, not that Biden is doing anything. I don't want to say it like that. Biden is doing the best he could do given circumstances, though I disagree with some of the things that he's done. But, you know. That's what happens. You can't, not everything you can agree upon on certain things, like any party, any poli- poli- politics system. I forgot to talk to her. That was a waste of experience. Shit. Um. But yeah, I just, it's like. Like, you can't tell me there's not a single Democrat who couldn't run instead. And take out Trump. Um, you, I think. I think the fear is. Um, do you want to just? There's so there's incumbents advantage, right? Um, in an election. Unless they're despised, incumbents automatically have a higher shot at re-election than um, someone trying to take on the job. Um, So that's why even with all of the, um, well, frankly, lies... um, I guess that's not true because Iraq was so new. Um, but like in 2004, you know, even though his opinion polls were not great, um, George Bush won re-election. Well, yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, like two-term elections are pretty common. It's actually uncommon to ha- have a president only run one term, isn't it? To only win one term? Yeah. Uh, fairly uncommon. Um, Clinton got two terms. Um, W got two terms. Obama got two terms. Trump got one. Yeah. Um, and before that, uh, George H.W. was one term. Mm. Uh, before him was Reagan with two. Uh, before Reg, I forget, I, that's kind of as far back as I generally go. Um, so you're right. Uh, two terms are more common than one. And that's cause th- what's seen as the incumbent's advantage mm-hmm. in terms of trying to win the election so now, i get going with kind him of again. A, a weird has it ever happened where i probably has where a fun who lost who won one term lost the next and tried to do it again with a second term how common has it that has been successfully happened once ever in okay. the history of the united states um it was i think grover cleveland Hang on, I'm looking this up. I want to see if I'm right. Hang on. Grover Cleveland. Yep, he was the 22nd and 24th American president. So he is the the one person to ever pull it off. Uh, Otherwise, no, it's never happened. Because generally, once you lose an election, it's very rare that you get picked again to run. Mm-hmm. Because you have to go through the whole like primary process and everything. Yeah. Ooh. 
what are the odds of Trump winning? <laughs> um, is he is he actually officially the nominee? That's the first. Not quest. yet. Not yet. Okay. He he will be. Um, it's it's about as close to like Thanos levels of inevitable. Um, as you can imagine. Mm -hmm. But um. I'll move the camera for you so you can see better. But um, technically not yet. If you want the the official answer. Um, hang on. What's the? Three thirty eight to win. No, that's Canada. I always get these mixed up. One. One seventy eight to win. Two seventy to win. Let's see. Uh, 2024. As of right now, if an election were held today based on current polls, uh, Joe Biden wins with... Uh, Same amount of seats and everything. <laughs> he, he... Three fewer electoral votes. Oh. Um, that's not because he loses any states differently. Mm-hmm. It's because there was a um, a shift uh, in terms of how many seats each um, state gets. Okay. So California now is worth 54 instead of 55, for example. They lost a seat? Yeah. Whoa. Texas gained two. Uh, Colorado gained one. Uh, Oregon gained one, Montana gained one, Michigan lost one, New York lost one, Pennsylvania lost one, Ohio lost one, Illinois lost one, West Virginia lost one. How do you lose a seat? Like, it, they it's just merge? It's based on population. Oh, okay. Uh, anyway, it looks like, I don't know if this is based on... Hang on, let me see. Is this based on anything? It looks like they just copied the map, so I'm guessing not. Um, Consensus electoral map. Ah, uh, here we go. Okay. This map will track the consensus forecast. Okay, neat. Uh, so let me move my guy and then I'll take a look. Uh, Okay, so as of right now, Democrat or Biden 226, Trump 235, with 77 uh, toss up. Okay. So basically neck and neck. Yeah. Um. If you play around with these a bit, if you assume. Um, Nevada goes Democrat. Arizona goes Republican. Georgia goes Republican. Um, basically, it's going to be close as fuck. It was close last time, wasn't it? Um, they predicted it. Well, wow. <laughs> like basically, um, it gets to it's to the point. Where it's it's basically the exact same as last time. Yeah. Um. If if this holds, Biden has to win Wisconsin, Michigan, Pennsylvania. Uh, if he loses even one of those, then Trump is president again. Oh, God. Um. No, it's my turn. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty pretty much sums it up.
I remember looking at this a few years ago and trying to figure out how to make a tie yeah. for like maximum chaos. Yep. Um, I did, don't think I was able to like make it realistically work. Um, then try harder. <laughs> try harder, <laughs> damn it! I think, I think if the if New Mexico. Yeah. Okay. This the, the, I, I found the one way. Uh, sixty-eight. I can't change it that much, though. That's annoying. Uh, all right. Well, that's fine. Um, basically, um, if they the Republicans get one more seat in Nebraska. And they get one more seat in Maine. And then... Blue... Blue... No, there was one more thing they had to win. Nevada, that's what that's it. So if they win Nevada, mm -hmm. um, and every single seat in Nebraska, because Nebraska has a weird split voting thing, yeah. Then Biden wins Wisconsin, Michigan, Pennsylvania, and everything else goes as you would expect. It's a tie, two sixty nine each. So hypothetically. That is possible. I don't know. I I'd say 50-50 at this point. That's scary. <laughs> uh. Twenty twenty-four uh, times are something. scary. <laughs> I've been oh I've been rewatching uh, parts of reboot. No. Oh. Um, I didn't realize so the episode Bad Bob is based off of Mad Max, right? Yeah. The person, one of the people who like um, did design work for that episode, including Megatrek. Yeah. Went on to uh, pro help produce uh, Mad Max Fury Road. That's amazing. Which is just beautiful. Yeah. Oh, that's you. Damn it. There <sighs> um... was something else I wanted to bring up. I feel like I saw like something on my recommends on YouTube as just before we were starting, and I was like, "Oh, I'll bring that up," and that's just gone. <laughs> uh. Now for the freaking fifty thousand turns you get before my guys go again. <laughs> Hooray! Okay. Oh, that's what it was. The Funimation shut down. Oh, yeah. I thought I talked about that last week. Did I not? I feel like uh... I did because I was like mentioning how it gets me a big problem for people who had digital purchases and Crunchyroll's like basically fuck you. Okay. Yeah, we did touch on that. And yeah, they basically have said we, we have absolutely no plans whatsoever to uh, to do anything about this. Um, so garbage. yeah, so that's, that's great customer service. 
I think it's bad customer. <laughs> <laughs> I personally hate it. I personally hate it. Controversial opinion, I know. Yeah. <laughs> I know I'm, I'm blowing your mind here. But I think it sucks. Good old Hayward. So willing to sacrifice himself. Now she's dead. Almost. She's dead. Now she's dead. Yeah. I just realized I don't actually hear any music. Oh, uh, it's probably just very quiet. One second. Okay. Um. So I turned down the volume because it was blasting my ears. Let's see. Do you hear it now? No. Really? There we go. Okay. Barely, but I can hear it. Yeah, any louder, it's gonna kill my ears. <laughs> okay. Or you could fuck off and not do that. <laughs> Says the one who bullies Irene. <laughs> Come on, Irene. <laughs> da, 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 da. Uh... He's gonna get demolished out there. He's gonna get killed! You go through the other door? Maybe, yeah. That might be the best bet at this point. Started assembling my uh, my new computer. Ooh, nice. Yep, it's uh, running into a few snags. <laughs> Ooh, shit. Okay. Um, I <laughs> I think the radiator I got one of my radiators is too big. Uh, but also I feel like the radiators the, the this case was um. Hmm. It's not meant for EK specific hardware. Um, okay. All my water cooling stuff is got, is has to be very specific, but it's gonna make bending tubes really difficult and in, in really tight spots. I see. Okay. Also, my pump is like covering like my my intake fans because the graphics card is so big. <laughs> Which one did you get again? Uh, seventy nine hundred XTX. Okay. Uh. Jesus. What about Jesus? Why are we saying Jesus? Is little boy still asleep or is he awake? The kid will not stop talking. Oh. Awake. Attack. I guess I should actually talk to her. <laughs> <laughs> Please. I've been living in this nightmare for eight days. <laughs> they keep respawning. And then you all disappear. Oh, right. I forgot she's got like a shit ton of defense for whatever stupid reason. <laughs> That fucking sucks. Oh, because she's also, like, level 7. That might be why. Oh, this will be funny. Beautiful. She did more damage to you. <laughs> uh, 
This is why I left Obright down here, is to literally defend Hayward. <laughs> I didn't want to miss the stream, so I'm going to lurk. Okay. Sounds good. I should have had him heal himself, but I don't want to waste the healing drop. Maybe I'll find a medical in this barrel. Damn it. <laughs> nope, it just exploded. Yeah, I'll send you a picture of what I what the uh, build's looking like so far. Okay, that sounds cool. I'll do that. <laughs> if he could die, that'd be great. Perfect. God. All right. Well, no, no, there's like nothing I can do with this battle. You've you've got it. Yeah. I, man, like, you know how much of a struggle this has been. <laughs> Healing rain. Okay. Supercharge. Get charged. Now he's got supercharge. What the fuck is supercharge? There's no. Um, there is a target. Oh, is no, that there the isn't. That's the freaking. Oh! <laughs> That's an I live issue. Forever. Come I... on, Irene. <laughs> I, 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 I don't even know how I triggered it. It must have been Symbius that somehow triggered it. Because I'm no further than I was before. I mean, I'm I, like, I'm, yeah, I'm, like, I'm, I, I've gotten further, technically speaking, than with my characters. The only one who hasn't gotten far is Symbius. Oh, so much defense. I don't know. I don't hear anything, so. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> she has. She's taking a bigger beating than any other of my characters have, and she's. A fucking mage. This is, this is crazy. Uh... Meanwhile! I've actually legit gotta make sure I protect him. <laughs> <laughs> Holy hell. No. Oh, that's the glitchy one again, isn't it? Fuck. <laughs> oh, from my victory. God. I... This is stupid. I should have been able to hit him multiple times now. I mean, he's dead. Ah, oh, three damage. Okay, that was four. I'm calling BS if you kill her, though, because that Birdman I should be able to hit. <sighs> Told you to just walk away from Irene. <laughs> just won't listen. Just won't listen. How many times do I have to teach you this lesson, old man? <laughs> Your defense is 13. I went to Symbiosis. Two. 
14. Oh, <laughs> you got the protect bracer, that's why. Okay, so I don't have to worry about him too much. He's not going to be that squishy. He's only squishy against my... Um... Mages. Exactly, and they're all dead, so... Yay, he lived! I did that on purpose. Oh. You only live because I chose to let you live. See, I don't even know if she's going to go first. Well, if she does, then she can punch him. There you so, go. I didn't need to use a medical herb. Are those cheap? Oh. Medical herbs, yeah. Hey, there's angel wings. <laughs> hey, I can use one of those. Bye! <laughs> oh my god. I cannot believe that's a thing. Uh, uh, I can go kill Symbios. That'd be hilarious. I'll move the camera for you so you can... Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, well... Just keep doing this. Until the frickin' event happens, whenever that event actually happens. <laughs> Where he runs away. It's only Grace died, right? Uh, yes. Can I get can I get away? No. No, I'll just accept my fate. You had me at my stuck in this battle all week last week. Uh might as well attack the barrel. Never know what you'll find inside. Could even be a medical herb. Could be a medical herb. Could be an angel wing. There we go. Okay. So I guess now I can die. Yeah. Oh, this is probably gonna kill you, isn't it? Probably. Damn it. I forgot magic kind of levels up, I think, with you in this one. So Blaze actually is still useful even at the higher levels. It's Liz Leader Leonard. Yes. She's Miss, I see. No wonder you beat us. You're the remembrance of the Republican Army. <laughs> I see Benetram next to you. I bet you are planning to escape by hiding in the cargo like rats. Forget this cargo, you're worth a lot more. There's a bounty on your heads. I must inform Boss Shere Sh Sheriff. Is that supposed to be the Sheriff? Just you wait, I'll gather my brothers from Dusty Village and return to collect Benetram's head. What shall we do if it seems we are now the target for a large bounty? And we let him go. More importantly, take a look around. Yeah, where were you, Hayward? <laughs> he literally flew in your direction. <laughs> Once they find this mess, they're bound to inspect everything on this train. I guess we must give up the idea of smuggling ourselves amongst the cargo. Yeah, that only that. Once this discovered, the whole town will be searched from top to bottom. We must leave immediately, Symbius. We must get as far away from town as possible as we can. As quickly as possible. <laughs> so, we fucked ourselves. Got it. Perfect. <laughs> Let's go revive our priest. Or, or, it's not revive. What is it? What does he say? Awaken? <laughs> I remember. That says revive. revive. That says re incapacitated. Oh my god. Save I for prefer... the love of god, please save. I prefer returning the soul. 
Uh, yeah, returning the soul was always good. I don't know. I can't remember what they say in Shiny Force 1. Let me just chat with Jesus real quick. Yeah. Yo, yo, brother. <laughs> yeah. Yo, J-Man. J-Dog. Mind <laughs> if I have that soul back? I'll give you 300 gold. <laughs> But you got 700 gold. A, a priest has got to live, Jay, man. You know that. Yeah. Times are tough. <laughs> um. Okay, so there's a bronze claw. Is that better for her? No. Uh, Actually worse the halberd? Hmm. I would love to give this to Obright. <laughs> oh, I should have gave that to him. Fuck! A tomahawk he throws it, so it's like a, it's like an arrow, so he could have probably been doing also additional damage to the flight. Damn it! Aw, oh, damn. Alright, I guess I gotta leave now. Bye. <laughs> Sign said bye. Oh god, is this going to be the fucking rail train map battle? We made it out of town, which is good, but since we can't use the train, the road ahead is daunting. We came all the way to Railhead and missed the train because of those stupid bandits. I can't believe our luck. If you want to get on the train, I can help you. Oh, is that Julian? <gasps> Do I get Julian? <laughs> you, if I remember you correctly, we met at the tavern. Give me Julian. I thought you had to get out, get on the train station. I guess you were and rubes aren't very... Okay. Rubes? <laughs> I've never seen that term used like that. A what rube? It... Yeah. Oh, it just means uh, imbecile. Oh, okay. Cool. Aren't very familiar with trains. Wait, there must be a switch... Switching point nearby. Aha! Pardon me, wise king Benetram. I guess I spoke too soon. It seems we are not far... You are not from this country. Why do you say that? You must be a mercenary. A local soldier would be turning us in, not helping us escape. <laughs> king Benetram, you are not by any chance thinking of trusting this stranger? I would say it's better than trusting those guys over there. Take a look for yourselves. Oh, fuck, look at all the flying units! Ah! <laughs> Mind you, they're not as deadly as the friggin' Shiny Force 2 were. As for General Gazar Garzel's orders, we have re we have returned to Railhead. Hmm, I seem his see his hunch was correct. Well, it's up to you, King Benetram. It seems the Imperial Army is here. I see you, Benetram. You won't escape. I'll be knighted for your capture. I don't even know who's talking. <laughs> so what do you have in mind? I'll guide you to the switching point. In return, I would like to travel with you. Oh, thank God. We could use another sword. Yes, we can. Because the sword that we have, our leader's sword, sucks. Yes, it does. Big Benetram Sorry. will be idle much longer. The Imperial Army will organize and come after us. He does suck. This is, like, I think the weakest hero of any Shining Force game. Without a doubt. Yes, you are correct. Oh, I almost forgot to ask. What is your name? Me? My name is Julian. The only one with a pronounceable name here. <laughs> Except for Grace. Sorry, I was just checking the uh, hockey game. Yeah. At least we're losing one nothing at the end of the first. Oh, look at that 18 attack. <clears throat> Beauty. Oh, wait. <laughs> wait a minute. Julian! Wait a minute, bud. You, you Julian, can't do, you suck. You can't do this to me. Oh, he's level 4, though. There you go. Uh, he also has one egress, nothing, so... It was one nothing Philly, end of the first. Yep. It's now 3-1 Toronto at the end of the second. Austin Matthews scored three goals in seven minutes. <laughs> My god. So it's basically the Philadelphia Flyers Versus won the Austin, Austin Matthews, Matthews three. Yeah. He now has five hat tricks just this season. The man's <laughs> not thought of this world. What the fuck? These foot soldiers are just carrying halberds all willingly. <laughs> okay.
Let's see. I'm here back. I forgot I have sake upstairs. <laughs> Ooh. Be right back. Yep. I made my one move. <laughs> no. Was it the move that'll will bring me to my doom? Bring me to my knees? Nope. Absolutely bring me not. to my hooves? Oh. <laughs> <clears throat> Is there any news on the uh, whole... Oh. Thank you for following, uh, Light Wing Dragon. Guardian of the Fortress. In attack mode. <laughs> uh, uh, Estonia soldier. What was that? I was soldier of something. Destiny. Yeah, has there anything news on the, the, the whole completionist lately? No. Um, he he's just uploading. Oh, he's just he's, uploading. Okay, like nothing's happened. Got it. Yeah, he's basically just. He just seems to be kind of like carrying on. Mm. Um, it's a bold strategy, Cotton. Um, it could also be his lawyer saying shut up for now. Yeah, and I guess he needs to eat. But still, uh, a very strange strategy to just keep uploading. Well, it's not that he needs to eat. It's also his... His... Um, I think his... his the people, his employees. There we go. God, Lord, that took a while. Yeah. But I think that's the thing that, that is, it, it, it sucks out of all of this is that his employees are getting screwed, even though they had like no hand in a lot of this, maybe possibly. Right. Yep. No, you, you're, you're not wrong. Go, my bird men. Go, my murder. My murder. Shining Force 3, let's go. I like Wing Dragon. Great, welcome. Welcome. Yes, Shining Force 3 is great. It's not so great when you have a human controlling the AI and bullying Irene. <clears throat> Come on, Irene. <laughs> Steel. All right, Julian, let's see. Um, hmm. uh, <laughs> you know what? Let's, let's, he, he can die, so it's fine. He can die, so it's fine. All oh, right, Julian's got the best battle music. Because each, so each, each sec, um, uh, that's sector. Each scenario has their own music. Okay. So Shining Force scenario one, two, and three, each, each of them have their own battle music. It's great. I have been streaming this on Sega Saturn. Uh, yeah, I normally would play on my physical hardware, but you can't do that when you're doing multiplayer over online. <laughs> I will, after after we're done uh, Scenario 1, I'll probably stream Scenarios 2 and 3 by myself. Makes sense. Uh, because I've never played those. I've And I've only played this and beaten it once. So I don't remember anything, really. I just remembered Irene. Because <laughs> I abused Master Monks in Shining Force too, as as Mitch is aware. You're doing multiplayer, yeah. Well, um, you can um put a debug code in, and it allows a second player to control the enemies. 
That's why the enemies are smarter right now. Because <laughs> Mitch is controlling them. Because he's a beautiful man. <laughs> I was going to say ah. bastard, but I was like, ah, I better not. Okay, Maskin doesn't need I mean, it. I did try to kill Irene. Yeah, I mean, yeah, multiple times. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Um, it's You need to have an action replay to act activate it. Because um, you put in a code, or if you have the physical games, you can burn a copy using the Shining Force 3 translation project. Um, they have it so that you can retranslate the scenario one into a proper translation along with it using um automatically activating the debug code so you don't have to have an activate on the you can do this on uh, on any version like right now i'm playing a dumped version of my game that's been patched to play the retranslated version as well as debug but i can also burn this onto a disc and play it in my Saturn, and it would also work. I've actually gotten it to work on an actual Saturn. It makes it infinitely harder. Come on, Irene. Brutal shock. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, it's it's really cool. Um, I knew about it a long time ago. I never thought to do anything about it. And then eventually, we when we were doing a, a randomizer versus vanilla race in Shining Force 2, um, you're like, oh yeah, when, when, when we can physically be in the same room with each other and, and, and stream or record, we, we, we should do a Shiny Force 2, uh, player versus controlled enemies thing. And then, then I discovered Parsec, I'm like, oh, we could just do that online. <laughs> yeah, I cannot believe how well Parsec works. Yeah, it's, it, it well, because we played some NHL games, right, so. Yeah. And, but you know. Very, very minimal lag. Yeah. Mind you, I, I definitely did win. <laughs> Which, yes. I, 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 I'm at the benefit because it's on my machine, so no lag for me. Afterburner. Jeez. I don't even think Symbius has learned an ability yet. Well, get on that. <laughs> it's random as far as I'm aware. I don't know. I actually don't know. Hey, okay. Who looks cooler? Okay, to be fair, Sibius actually looks cooler because of his shield. But honestly, Julian's way better. <laughs> Julian also looks way better when he's promoted. And there's Harry Hayward, our good old fancy archer. So who's going through legal issues? Oh, that was, we were talking about the completionist. I mean, is that? I, I'm wondering if I have to go over there. Is that? I think that's the other ruins. Who has the ruin car uh, map? No, not you. I, yeah, I, I, I um. There's been no, absolutely nothing new on on the completionist front. <clears throat> Wait, isn't Maskrin who has it? Like literally the person I'm controlling. Oh no, that's what's equipped. Okay, items use. I have to go through each of them and see which one has the map. I remember putting the old one into a, uh, into the in my whatever HQ, but I don't remember putting the new one in the HQ. Come on, Dantares. No. 
Good. Oh, supercharge. Oh! No! Not good. Oh, double hit. Boom! 28 damage. Damn it. So yeah, the more you use a weapon, the more the... I think there's three levels. Like there's So there's like three different abilities depending on what weapon you have. And then each of those abilities, I think, have three different levels. So you had just regular charge, then you have super charge, and then there's one more. And I don't know how they learn it. I don't know the logic behind that one. I'm hydrating with sake. Does that count? It's a liquid. It wets your whistle. <laughs> but does it hydrate? <laughs> <laughs> oh, did you? Uh, did you also see the uh, the Colbert segment where uh, John Stewart's moving out of his underneath his desk apartment? No, I didn't. Oh. It was Uncle Bear? Yeah, it was Uncle Bear. Because the whole joke is he's been living underneath Colbert's desk. Since oh my he's god, retired. that's amazing. Oh, I gotta watch that. It's funny. I also have to send you um Oh my god, this Why am I even bothering to play? To be fair, I had to spend I how many last week we were only on that one battle, so I was basically leveling up. Oh, um, John Oliver, uh, last week tonight, yeah, he did a segment on trains a couple months ago. Okay. Um, about the problems that modern trains are causing and the fact that they're too long, they're not properly inspected, etc., etc. Yeah. And at the very end, he, um, him and his team actually made a, um, basically a Thomas the Tank Engine. <laughs> segment okay complete with like stop motion and everything yeah um oh my god it's so friggin funny I'll, it's I'll true share though the trains are the getting end. too long like the fact that that yeah when a train's going by you turn off your car yep like yep. unless it's a unless it's a passenger train because i think they're going to have a max of what five carts well i mean it's it's bad here but in the u.s it's gotten to the point where the trains will actually block the road and just park. Oh yes. Well we've had that they, we've had that here too. For three hours? Uh not for three hours if, but it's because they're trying to every work day? with the factory. Not every day. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah, no, no. I'm not saying I know, not, I know. Yeah. But like it's it's it was to the point the whole reason for the segment, um or no, sorry. Um not the reason for the segment, but a couple months later, uh, a mom faced um, I think like third degree manslaughter charges because her daughter I guess to get to school climbed underneath a train that was sitting on the track oh no and the train started up and killed her <sighs> but she did it every day because every day the train blocked the road for an hour so she had no other way to get to school there were no other routes Oh my gosh. That mother should not be. <sighs> so just just horrible. And so like it's obviously a very poignant topic that he brought up, but of course it's it's John Oliver, so he has to bring humor into it. And um I see yeah, I... the ending segment's hysterical. I like I like I like John Oliver because he's humorous, but I think I prefer John Stewart in the sense that he still has he takes things a lot more like a very serious in a sense. I don't know. There's a very difference between the two. I think Oliver takes things more seriously. <sighs> um, now, mind you, like, sorry, Oliver takes very serious things more seriously than Stewart. I don't know. John Stewart went to friggin' Congress about the whole 9/11 survivor package and tore into them. That is true. Oh, he did a great job with that. Yeah. John Oliver's also like 61, and John Ol oh, no, John Stewart's 61. John Oliver's what, like 50? I think I think so. It's about a 10 year difference. Um. No, Oliver. Um. Like, he'll do stuff like, uh, like, there's a, I think in Australia, there is a koala gonorrhea center. Oh, gosh. 
uh, that he basically um, paid for, mm -hmm. so they put it in his name. Mm -hmm. um, so which he found hilarious that now his name is associated with a uh, koala bear gonorrhea center. It's amazing. Um, so he does stuff like that. It's like, well, yeah, he's making light of it, but at the same time, he's also helping to like solve a problem. Well, what else? Well, John Stewart's probably doing something like that too. Is he? Oh, it sounds like something he would be doing. Uh, well, he went the more private approach. Mm. After he retired, I believe he opened an animal sanctuary. Okay. Thanks, him. Let me look that up. John Stewart. Oh, brutal shock! Yeah, go. Boom. <laughs> Since we're playing Sega Saturn games, like I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure I mentioned the channel before. It's called Pandemonium Reviews Every Sega Saturn Game on YouTube. Yes. Um, and he's gone. Like his earlier ones were like you know 10, 15 minutes long. He's gone full documentary. Like they're like there's some of these are like an hour to three hours long. I think as long as one is the document like the development of Virtual Cop for the Sega Saturn. I think it's like four hours long. Damn. But he got. He got to interview the developers. The Japanese developers for Virtual Cop, the people who ported it from the arcade board onto Saturn. He got to interview them. That's really cool. I'm like, fuck, that's amazing. <clears throat> Sorry, I just found it. It's the, the Hey Friend Foundation. Okay. Him and his uh, wife mm. found it. Yeah. But yeah, like watching, like I've watched all of them now, but I learned so much watching them. I could rewatch them because every time I like I've rewatched it twice now. And every time I'm learning like different, like how things worked back then and, and how I could possibly change the way I want to go about developing something because he talks to the developers. Right. And my God, Sega, of not even Sega of America, third parties got screwed by Sega, man. Like, they were developing without a development kit for, Correct. like, six months. They yep. had no way to compile and test to see if the damn thing worked. And we're not talking about small games. I'm talking about Virtual Racer, a Sega game. SimCity 2000. Like, they didn't have a development kit for, like, I think six, six to seven, eight months or something like that. Like, that blows my mind. Yeah. And when they got it, it wasn't a simple thing. It wasn't like a, a standalone box. You had to... you So you had the development kit, but then you also had an additional debugger. You had to unsocket the CPU, one of the SH2 uh, CPUs, because there's two of them in the Sega Saturn. You had to unsocket one and plug this giant honking machine into the CPU socket. So you had two... like. Basically, the deep the, the development kit was like two Sega Saturn stacked on top of each other, but then you <laughs> had like a mini fridge for the debugger. <laughs> My God, I cannot like I cannot believe like the things that these people went through. Oh, I would definitely like like you know if you like listen to podcasts, I would just listen to his reviews. Like, they're actually so good to listen to. I'm hydrating. There is... But yeah, like... Watching his stuff, though, I'm like, oh, I would love to have, like, a... A complete Sega Saturn collection. That's too expensive, though. I love a GameCube collection that's ever happening. I know. I mean, your GameCube collection is... How many GameCube games are there? Because I think the Sega Saturn only had like 200 and something. GameCube, I think, is at around 400. Yeah, so you have double the amount. So yeah, yours is hard, but mine's like almost impossible. Because Panzer Dragoon Saga. <laughs> That game alone is like two thousand dollars, if not more. Yeah, I have what Cubivore. 
What's cube of ore? Like 1,500? Uh... It, what is the rarest GameCube? Oh, isn't it that friggin' soccer game? FIFA, like... Not... F no, um, it's basketball. Okay. Uh, Cube of War is... It's not that bad. Cube of War, complete in box, is like $500. Oh, that's not bad at all. Um... It's NCAA... Oh, it's because it's the college f basketball. NCAA College Basketball 2K3 on GameCube... Uh, complete in box is 400. Oh, okay, that's not that bad then. Uh, sealed is 1,000. Well, like, you don't want sealed anyways. You'd want it. Yeah. And the reason it's rare is it was basically not, it's not actually released. Uh, it made it its way into stores. But it wasn't officially released. Okay. And yeah. then they basically said, no, we're, we're actually not going to bother releasing that, but some stores sold it anyway. That's also what blows my mind when I think about it. The Sega Saturn was supposed to be released in September, but they launched it in at E3 May. May of E3 in May. E3 yeah, was May, that right? was stupid. And I'm just sitting there like... And they didn't tell any of their developers until like a week... Like none of the North American developers until like a week before or something like that. I'm not uh, even sure if it was just North were... American. I think it was... I think it was um, even Japan, but I think America was hit the harder. A week before, if they're lucky. No, if, if you were lucky. And I think one of the people he interviewed says they only found out like two days before. And they basically said, yeah, you're not getting, you're not getting this. Like. Wow. But I'm like, I'm like so, so you had, you had that much hardware in stock, but you couldn't get dev kits to your developers, third party developers fast enough. I'm like, no wonder you got, like, no wonder Sony just demolished you. But you know what one thing every developer has said? The Saturn has more potential than the PS1 ever had. And, it, and they think people still haven't fully unlocked the Saturn's potential. I agree. It's a f weird system. But it's probably true. It, probably. But there was no time. Sega screwed them. The Saturn is meant to be a 2D beast of a machine. Like, if you compare 2D games between PS1 and Saturn, Saturn has almost always won, except for the case of Castlevania Symphony, Symphony of the Night, um, where I think it was um, it was just like a resolution issue problem where it, it kind of looked jagged rather than square. Um, but I think every ver every 2D game was pretty much better on the Saturn. Well, on, the, on when it came to 3D, majority of the time it was PS1. Like the few that were on both, like Tomb Raider and um, what else? What other ones were on both? I don't remember now. Oh shit! I mean, man. yeah. Generally, I'm gonna be pretty prone to agree. Um, the Saturn was just notoriously terrible to develop for. So that was another thing that someone was interesting. Uh, it was interesting is that it wasn't actually. So one one developer who uh, helped port NBA Jam to, I think he he ported it to the. Oh, funny enough, he's also the developer of the Kega emula emulator, uh, Steve Snake. Um, he ported uh, NBA Jam to the 32x, but he also helped fixed another developer's code for the PS1 version of NBA Jam. But he also helped with the Saturn a little bit. But he said it's not fair to say that was hard to develop for because everyone says it's hard to develop for because they were only giving manuals on the hardware for the Saturn while PlayStation had a full-on development kit that went out and full-on libraries that went out to, um, to third-party developers. He says it's not fair because the whole idea of you were given a manual in the hardwares was actually how it was done back in the day. For Nintendo, Super Nintendo, Genesis, 32X, Sega CD, that's all you got was a manual with the hardware on how to program. He says what happened was, is Sony... Basically, Sony was... um Wanted to make sure that they would survive, that they that they had everything set. They bought a specific company, I can't remember what it was called, that helped do the development kit, and it made it so much easier to develop for, and made it quicker to develop for. But, um... Okay. 
but that and that's where we are today now nowadays like you have unreal engine or unity right like you have an engine already made for you it's easy to develop anyone can develop a game now but back on the nintendo super nintendo genesis era you were making your own engine and you only had the manuals to help develop the game right so he yeah, says no, it's not a fair yeah. it's not fair to say that it was hard to develop for he said what the problem was is the fact that they threw in an additional CPU in last minute to try and compete and make it a 3D machine. And gave no none of the third party developers or even their own even even Sega developers an idea of how to make something 3D. That's where vir the virtual copy document became an interesting. They helped make so originally when they released the Saturn to the third party they were given the SBL library the sega basic library uh to help them get started and then when they were making virtual cop they made the sgl the sega graphics library which helped use both processors to help process 3d graphics okay and i love sega's interest sega's history is so interesting it's uh, yeah it's, it's interesting it's also a mess well it, so it was interesting it, it only became a mess as soon as they were like let's add a cd and a 32x on top of the genesis that's when it became a mess yeah before then tom kalinsky did wonderful in north america sega was doing relatively well in japan and great in europe um but then they started goofing up they were goofing up in America, and it was it's hard to say who's at fault. Um, Tom Kalinsky blames, blames uh, Sega of Japan. Sega of Japan blames North American realtors, which I could 100% believe that. Because what happens is North American realtors, like Walmart, you know, they buy stock in bulk. They're like, okay, we need to have like a thousand units. I'm just throwing a random unit out there. So they buy a thousand units. They send it there. If they don't sell them them all, they make it so that Sega has to buy them back. And they ordered a thousand? Yeah. Oh. So then Sega yeah, would have to buy bullshit. them back, and then, yeah. Oh, that's exactly it. And that's why Sega Japan blames North American realtors. Re retailers? Yeah, that's what I meant. Retailers. Am I, why am You're I saying real realtors? Why am I I'm saying like, realtors? I, I've hit the sake too hard, apparently. Realtors, damn, God damn those realtors! realtors. <laughs> if it if it weren't for them selling houses, <laughs> the Sega 32X would have been fine. Mind you, I've actually been doing a little research on 32X. The 32 the 32X games are apparently relatively good. They just it no one was buying it because the Saturn was just around the horizon. Well, I mean they were okay. Um, well, Doom was good minus the music. Uh, the vir people swear by the Virtual Race report that is one of the best ports. Sure, graphically, but the audio was terrible. Which, which, which is why you needed the 32 CD 32 32X. X. Yeah. In order to get the power of the 32 X and the audio quality of the CD. Which blows my mind when I think about it. Why didn't they just have the 32 X the Sega CD be one unit? Because the CD couldn't hold how much memory? I know. All they had to do was, was supercharge the CD. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I love the CD. Like, I know it has horrible games, but I love the CD. It has one game that you recently bought a re-release for. No, it doesn't. Plumber's no, Don't Wear Ties was 3DO. You're right. I'm sorry. It never came on the CD. No. What was I think? I was thinking Night, Night Trap. Trap. Night Trap got re-released. I didn't get a new copy of it though. I got want it. if I'm gonna get Night Trap, I want the original red box release. Not the re-release that's censored. I want the original red box release. <laughs> uh. Because the, the whole idea of the fact that it needed to be censored is ridiculous. Because if you listen to it, people the Congress thought you were trapping and raping women. Yep. No, that's not it at all. And that's what one of the one of the developers was like. Have you played it? It's like, no, I don't need to play it. I know it's disgusting. 
this is my problem with and you know what the funny this was all the democrats by the way in the states that were having problems with this right um so the democrats have their own problem like i, I remember isn't one that like hillary clinton was like on a thing about like video games make violence and all nonsense like that i don't know back in the 90s probably <sighs> i don't remember. regardless but it's like ah <sighs> Well, there was also, um... He's like, I don't need to name? play, I don't need to play it, I know it's garbage. It's like, no, because you're su the, the point of the game is to protect them, to save them from the vampires. He sounds like a wrestler. I'm like, I'm assuming you mean Steve Snake. He does. Jake the Snake. It's not him. Speaking of wrestling, how's wrestling going? I, 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 as far as I'm aware, shit has hit the fan. At one point, Cody Rhodes handed off the WrestleMania match to The Rock, and now I'm hearing otherwise. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Yeah, let me march you through that little slice of hell. <laughs> so, basically... We need to have a... Like, we, this is like a, basically a podcast of what random fucking topics can we talk about because we're playing Pretty Shiny much. Force 3 with just random so, topics. So, okay. So obviously you know about all the Vince McMahon crap. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So Vince McMahon was on the board at TKO, which yeah. is the new ownership of WWE. Yeah. He then resigns, but obviously these new stories keep coming out. It's bad press. You know, don't want that. So, basically, from all accounts, it sounds like The Rock basically saw an opportunity to kind of insert himself onto the board. And so he did. Mr. Ego, okay, got it. No, not Irene! <laughs> Finally! Come on, Irene! <laughs> um, so, she, he... He's now on the board, and I guess they're like, well, how else can we um, distance ourselves from McMahon? Di we'll di we'll uh, distract the situation, basically. Yeah. Yeah. And um, they were like, well, we could um, put The Rock in the main event. And so they were like, yeah, let's do that. So then, so Cody wins the Rumble. Oh, boy. Um, the original plan was Cody was was going to win the Rumble, Be and go for face Reigns. Reigns, yeah, and Punk was going to face Rollins. Rollins, yeah. Punk gets hurt. Yeah. So okay, shit. Well, what can we do? Well, hey, we have The Rock now. So how about Cody faces Seth for the world title, mm -hmm. and we'll have Roman versus Reign or. Rock versus Reigns. <laughs> Roman's Roman gonna versus himself. Reigns. That's the only way he's gonna beat himself and yeah. transfer the belt. That's that's the only man who can beat him is him. Um. So. Guess I'm a healer. Oh, I can do that too. Fuck. Neat. Fuck. 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 I should have. I should have checked first. Ah. Oh. Oh, hooray! No. <laughs> get get out of my freaking game! Get the that sh out of here! Ah, uh, um, so okay, cool. Let's let's do that. We'll have we'll have uh, we'll we'll have uh, um Cody Rose come out. I had almost two thousand dollars. Yes, you did, sir. <laughs> And then um, we'll have Rollins come out and basically say, no, listen, his title is shit. He's ruined that title. It's a sack of shit. It's never defended. You want the working man's title. You want the title that your daddy could be proud of. You want the world heavyweight title. That... And then Cody goes, I'll think about it. Following a few days later on SmackDown, he's like, well, Reigns... I thought about having a match with you, but if I beat you, all I do is take your title. I want to take 
everything from you. And there's only one person I know who can do that. And then now comes The Rock. Yeah. And so very quickly, everyone got excited for like five minutes before they realized, hey, wait a minute. Oh, yeah. Then they started booing the shit out of them. Oh, yeah. Rocky sucks. Rocky sucks. Like, yeah. The whole nines. So, oh, uh uh-oh, that's... Not the reaction we thought. (laughs) There we go. I'm sorry, the audio was my fault. I I forget there's a dial on my headset. Oh. (laughs) That's better. It was very quiet this whole time. You weren't, but the music was basically non-existent. Oh, okay. That sucks. That's better in general. Um, So they were like, hey, wait a minute. This guy fucking sucks. So they uh, go, oh, fuck. Um, We're going to have to pivot this. So they have a big press conference um, where, you know, The Rock shows up and Reigns is there and and Cody's there. And basically, uh, it starts off with you know, Reigns comes out, and then you know, The Rock comes out, and he's getting friggin' booed like crazy. And then he's like, uh, you know, I don't think you people understand. And he's like, let me show you something. And he points to the screen, and it's got the whole... Um, I'm gonna butcher this, but I, I know why. Family tree. Mm-hmm. Because I think The Rock and Reigns are, like, related through some sort of blood bond. Yeah, their like families back second like second cousins generations. or something stupid like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, basically, it goes from I'm the Rock and I'm going to take out Roman Reigns to no, no, no. You know, I'm gonna, I'm just here to make sure that my second cousin has a hell of a main event and a great showing for our family. And basically, he's now like on Reigns' side. Yeah. Out comes Cody, who says, this is bullshit, and I will fight you at WrestleMania, Reigns. And that's where we are now. So The Rock's supposed to play the heel, I'm assuming. He is. So So is it going to be a triple threat? I don't know. So as of right now, they're only advertising Cody versus Reigns. Reigns. Okay. I think what they're going to do is they're going to have man can I just I'm going to quickly interrupt doing this game in 3D is actually very hard to figure out like space it's terrible um so right now Rollins is technically injured (laughs) of course he is Um, what do you mean technically he he is if he went to go wrestle a match uh, the doctor wouldn't like sue WWE for like abusing a human being he he has like a mild injury it needs it doesn't doesn't need surgery it just needs rest okay if he's well enough I think what they're going to do is at elimination chamber they're going to have Roman Reign or um, the Rock probably team with like Solo Sokoa to take on Rhodes and Rollins in a tag match. They'll then have Rock like pin Rollins to set up Rock versus Rollins at WrestleMania. Um, Rollins will then win. God willing. But at least then the storyline can be, hey, listen, you know, you've got to take this, take care of Cody. You got to get this, you know, crap done and over with once and for all. I'm going to go win more gold for the bloodline. I'm sorry. Wrestlers that are in retirement need to stop coming back. It confuses the stories. <laughs> really yeah. like I don't I don't watch WWE. Here's the thing, I don't watch it. I just get a lot of the information. I I, I, I get enjoyment reading reading how things went. 
God, I feel like an old man, like, reading a newspaper or something. Um... I get enjoyment just reading about it, right? And the whole Cody coming back into the WWE and all those stories that have been going on, really interesting. And then they're like, let's throw a wrench in this. Let's have The Rock's giant ego come through. And like... I see. You you want you want storylines to just have the like, like natural progression. Yeah. I, mean, I get I it. Guess I'm going, I guess I'm going to the wrong company for that, but... Um, no, sometimes the, like, the obvious way to go is the best way to go. You don't need a swerve every time. You don't need, you don't need a Vince Russo special every time. Um. But, like, like, The Rock doesn't need... He doesn't need to be the main event at WrestleMania, the fact that they were even trying to do that. They could say I they know. weren't. They could say they weren't, but they were. They were. No, it's more, um, again, they're just, you oh, do know. do you have the map? Oh, you have the map. Okay. It's more that they're... I have to give that to you, I think. Trying to... Um... Sorry, I'm trying to item give that to you. Yay! Oi. We'll call it after this, this, this round. <laughs> well... Because no, we both work like, tomorrow. It's more like... Um, how do I describe this? It, again, all they're doing is trying to like get the heat off of the whole Vince McMahon thing. But he's That's gone. That's their focus. Why, why does Be, it... But he was... Okay, so we have to understand the context. So Vince McMahon is chairman of WWE, owner of WWE. Was, yes. Then the first allegations come up. Yes. He then steps... Steps a, steps down. He retires. Then comes. He back can after He three. can't stay exactly. He can't. He can't fucking stay away. Yeah. So then he goes to the board and says, "I have the majority of the shares. You will reinstate me to the board. Yeah. Or I will dissolve the board. Yeah. So they're like, well, we don't want to lose our job. So they bring him back in. Um, because he was threatening to like block, um, signing new deals. For like TV rights, yeah, and all this shit. So they he comes back in, and the idea the idea is he's there to help facilitate a sale. Mm -hmm. They sell to TKO, and as part of the deal, he gets to remain as like president of WWE. He gets a seat on the board. He's still a very important person, which is what Ziga wants him to be. By the way, can I just... I saw a recent picture of him, and he dyed his hair, and he has a, the dirtiest mustache. He looks like a bootleg Gomez Adams. <laughs> I, you know what? I was trying to think what he looked like for the longest time, but I think you described it perfectly. It is. Like it's a bootleg, bootleg Gomez, Gomez Adams. Poundland Gold... Uh, Poundland... Poundland. Poundland, Poundland Gomez Adams at like yep. age seventy. That's about right. Perfect. It, it's so bad. I'm he like, what made him think suits. that looked good? I don't know. So anyway, now he has to step aside again, and there's no way back for him because he no longer has an ownership stake. Yeah. So he's gone, gone. But the problem is, from an optics perspective, people this still is a associate. Guy, yeah. Well, no, no, no. Well, yes, they, they always will. But this is a guy who had a sexual assault um, uh, claim levied against him, mm -hmm. and resigned because of it. But now, but then came back. And had to resign in disgrace a second time. And so you have to, you, you, you can kind of question, well, like, what the hell is TKO doing? But at the same time, there's kind of a, you have to understand the nuance to it. Which is that at the time, WWE was still majority owned by Vince. Yeah. So, there's a lot of moving pieces there. Um, anyway, so that's where that whole thing uh, stay, stands right now. Um, anything else? 
Okay. Anything else interesting is happening in wrestling right now? That's I mean, obviously the main storyline. I would say that's the biggest one right now, as far as I'm aware. Um, in AEW, um, Sting is going to be having his uh, retirement match. I thought he was already retired. No, he's, uh, he's officially retiring. Oh my god, come on. He's officially retiring at Revolution. Um, he's actually one half of the tag team champions right now. Oh wow! Um, so his retirement match, he's going to be teaming with his partner uh, Darby Allen mm -hmm. uh, against the Young Bucks. That's going to be his retirement match. I can't believe he's still there. Oh, here we go, afterburner. Oh my God! Eighty damage. Eighteen, but. <laughs> um. I thought he. I. I thought honestly he was retired. He was for a while. Then he came back to WWE, got hurt, and then came back to A. Went to AEW later on. Sting is awesome. I know nothing about Sting. I just know he's basically what well, uh, W was oh, um, WCW's uh, Undertaker. Is how I've always been known, been told what he More is. More or less, he's they're not exactly the same character, but he's like the, no, no, the, the equivalent, like, the like level of popularity yes. and like respect. 100%. In terms of locker room leader and stuff, he is their Undertaker. Yeah. Um, and, yeah. And so, after WCW folded, he refused to sign with WWE because he didn't like what their product had become. Yeah. Which, he's, he's a, he's a um, uh, very religious uh, Christian person. Mm -hmm. At the time, it was just all bra and panty matches and... Um, a lot of stuff that, in light of Vince's allegations, are yeah. now, like, even worse than they already were. Yeah. Like, hindsight was already not kind to them. Well, the one that but always blew me away, even back when we were in high school, was the, uh, the Edge and Lita sex on the stage yep. celebration. Yeah, the live sex celebration. Yes. I was like, what the fuck? Um, before that, probably before when you watch wrestling, um... There was a whole storyline where he kept threatening Trish Stratus with, um, a, like, a ter like termination, uh, unless she did what he said. Yeah. And at one point, he like brings her out into the ring and makes her like bark like a dog, and like shit. walk on all fours, and just basically like humiliating, degrading shit. Yeah. And it's like. Again, like, in hindsight, it's already bad, and then you add the, like, context to it, and it's, like, really, really gross. Yeah. And so Sting wanted no part of it, um, so he sat out after the, um... He went to TNA or whatever, right? He did. Uh, he went to TNA. Um, had a nice, nice run there. Uh, then he went to AEW, when they went to WWE... Mm -hmm. Finally, after he was, you know, pretty well convinced that the product had improved. Oh, yeah, because that, like, because that was still the attitude. Well, no, because that was the ruthless, ruthless aggression era, right? Mm, he, he I, went, modern. It, he, he didn't come until after ruthless aggression. Yeah, was yeah that's what I mean. Like, he, the whole um, Ron Panty was ruthless aggression era. Wasn't it? Uh, both. Was it also attitude era? Okay. Yeah. Modern era, that's all gone. Yeah. Uh, women's wrestling is treated at least with some degree of, of respect. Well, now they're not divas; they're actual superstars. They're not yeah. paid the same still, but yeah, now they're actual like women's wrestlers. Uh, no more divas title. It's now the Raw Women's and SmackDown Women's titles. Yeah. Um. So. Race. Um, so yeah, so then he came, uh, he did a, he, he actually played a role in one of my favorite Survivor Series matches, uh, ever, mm -hmm. which was Team Cena versus Team Authority. Okay. Um, so Team Cena was Cena, Dolph Ziggler, um, let me get this right, hang on. Is this little boy authority. asleep yet, Songbirds? Survivor Series 2014. Uh, Team Cena was John Cena, Dolph Ziggler, 
uh, Eric Rowan, Big Show, and Ryback uh, versus Team Authority, which was Seth Rollins, Kane, Luke Harper, Mark Henry, and Rusev. Um, five on five Survivor Series elimination match. If Team Authority lost, then the Authority was removed from power. Triple H would be fired as COO. Kane would be fired as director of operations. Um, all that stuff. If Cena's team had lost, uh, Cena's teammates, but not Cena himself, would have been fired. Was the obviously this is all like fake, but those were the the stipulations. Yeah. Um, and so uh, the match ends up being. Um, hang on. We like this to right. Police podcast. It feels like every wrestler has a podcast now. Uh, let's see. Uh, Mark Henry was the first man eliminated by Big Show after a knockout punch, so that makes it five four Cena. Mm -hmm. Ryback is eliminated by Rusev. Uh, that makes it four four. Um, Rusev goes to put Ziggler through the table with a splash, but misses and gets countered out. 4-3 Cena. Rowan gets eliminated by Harper. Now it's 3-3. Um, three, three. Cena then gets eliminated by Rollins after Big Show turns on Cena and hits him with a knockout punch. And then he then leaves the ring for countout. So that makes it 3-1 for the authority, with the last person standing for Team Cena being Dolph Ziggler, who's basically like... <laughs> Poundland Shawn Michaels. That's what I was going to say. I remember correcting from our night show is Poundland, Poundland Shawn Michaels, yeah. Correct. And so, like, he can sell like a lunatic. Unbelievably talented. Who else has a podcast? As far as I'm aware, I think Chris Jericho Edge or somebody like, or I can't remember. Uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Stone Cold, yeah, he has one. Chris Jericho. Uh, um, Maven, I think, has and one. Lots Maven actually has a really cool YouTube channel, actually, yeah. about wrestling. Um, anyway, so it's it's three to one. Um, Zig uh, Ziggler eliminates Kane and eliminates Harper. Mm -hmm. So that makes it um, one on one. Um, and then... Um... There you go. <laughs> Thank you. Um... So that makes it three. Can you not be a dick and not, like not let me get that? <laughs> <laughs> but then if you have it, then I'm fucked. I mean, in right. this I game, in this game, apparently, if you have a ring, you could probably use it in this game. You could use a goddamn angel ring. I'll, I'm gonna try to equip it. Um. So anyway, um, it becomes one on one Ziggler versus Rollins. Yeah. Um. Triple H is basically just interfering like a fucking lunatic. What else? Like at one point he just get he just throws out the referee, gets in the ring, pedigree Ziggler just starts beating the hell out of him. Um, Scott Armstrong, who's like a crooked referee for the Authority, comes down to count the three. Um, lights go out, Sting's music hits, and Sting comes out to basically you know stop the bullshit. Um, the only part of the whole thing that I don't like is how long. So basically, to put into context, Ziggler hits Rollins with uh, his finisher, goes for the cover, Triple H pulls the referee out, pedigrees Ziggler, beats up Ziggler, drags Rollins over Ziggler, calls out a referee referee counts a two before sting comes out sting very slowly comes out Pedig um scorpion death drops triple h and then without touching rollins drags ziggler over top of him instead um and then the uh, uh, old referee rolls back into the ring and counts three so basically uh dolph ziggler's finishing move murdered Seth Rollins. He was out for like five full minutes. Ah, uh, that's kind of weird. 
So, yeah, I really wasn't a fan of that. I would have been okay with it if he picked Ziggler up or um, Rollins up and hit him mm -hmm. with his finisher too. But because he didn't, it was just very a very awkward end to what is otherwise a really good match. Highly recommended, 10 out of 10. <laughs> Second favorite Survivor Series match after Team Bischoff versus Team Austin back in 2003. Send Julian in there. Okay, good, I can. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Wait, anything, anything else interesting happened lately? <laughs> Well, that's pretty well it. Um, can't really think of much else. Um, oh, uh, I don't know if you heard about the new Yu-Gi-Oh! anime series. No, I actually did not know hear about this at all. Um, it's, I think it's called Yu-Gi-Oh! The Chronicles. Okay. And it's it basically, it's going to be, from the looks of things, a... Um, we call it a serialization is that the right word basically um like one to three episodes each dealing with a different card lore okay um so let's say you have the history like uh, the story of dark magician and dark magician girl okay they'll give you one or two episodes devoted to their characters the backstories you know the stuff that has to do with like the card lore and stuff like that and it's all like in an anime that's cool um and so like that one neat but some of the ones that people are really interested in is there's apparently again newer card sets that have like really deep lore across like 30 cards and so they're taking some of those and making like full fledged stories and like expanding on the characters that appear in the cards oh, yeah. and stuff like that. So it's a really neat idea. I think it comes out this fall um, as part of their their 25 year celebration. Mm -hmm. There's that treasure chest right there. Can I just uh, go ahead and grab that? Yeah, go ahead. Dottis tier, I think, just heals MP. So I can use it. <laughs> uh, you mean equip. Uh, down? You down. Uh, right? Where accessory? I think it would be an accessory. Yes, you can equip it. See? Hilarious. So don't... Don't run away from me. <laughs> At least give me a chance to get it. Can I leave? I yeah. can. No, don't. Does that let me get? <laughs> but like, does that turn me to the map? No, it doesn't. Well, I just leave forever. Yes. Are you sure? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Can I have one of the other guys leave? If they don't have an item, sure. <laughs> this is very restrictive. <laughs> <laughs> that song Bruce is calling me out now, too. <laughs> uh, Let the man have his ring. I. I I don't need give to give him what he wants. No, give me the opportunity to possibly get it. That's all I ask. <laughs> Is there a chance you won't get it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Does it, 
that these ruins are you like now that we've done it i can't just egress and do it again it's it's done now there's no retry it's literally a one shot that's hilarious he's not the animal but he's a human being yeah mitchell <laughs> i'm a human being ah <laughs> uh. I need Symbios to level up or fucking learn an ability already. Jeez. You know, maybe I should have had him start running. <laughs> Good movie. Highly recommend. What? What movie? He's not an animal. He's a human being. That's a movie. I'm not sure what movie it's referring to. No, I don't know either. Unless it's, um... Planet of the Apes? The only reason he does... Elephant Man. Oh, no. No, I haven't. I think you tried to get me to watch it and I fell asleep. <laughs> it's black and white. Very few black and white movies I can watch. I think the only one I've ever actually watched all the way through is Schindler's List. What about Young Frankenstein? Wasn't that black and white? I actually have not seen Young Frankenstein. Oh, it's on my it's on my must watch list, but I haven't seen it. Okay. I think I've watched a few Abbott and Costellos, but that's it. Why haven't my units gone yet? Jeez. Item use goddess. Okay, you don't have anything. No, he doesn't. Technically speaking, your goblin wasn't even supposed to open the treasure chest. That's only supposed to be open up. Being most is only supposed to be able to open up by a thief. <laughs> okay, see ya. How are you guys supposed to stop the thieves then? That's a huge advantage. Yep. <laughs> Jeez, that does, actually does a lot of damage. Somewhat shocked. I've seen Young Frankenstein and I've seen a couple Abbott Costello, those and uh, White Christmas and Holiday Inn. I think the only black one who's gonna be able to watch the whole thing. Oh, and To Kill a Mockingbird, or not? Yeah, To Kill a Mockingbird. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm sorry too. I have seen To Kill a Mockingbird. Not like, it was a, it was a good interpretation of the book. It was pretty good. It cut out a lot, but yes. Fuck me. Are am I gonna seriously lose? Fuck. Come on. Is this the end? This fucking game. You have so many units! Oh my god! <laughs> the ruins have collapsed. Wait, so they dead? No, they survive. It's just I can't get my protect ring anymore. Oh my god. Holy shit. You have so many units. I have a lot of units. All right, I call it there. <laughs> Thank you all for joining. At least I got Irene. Hooray! Lost my chance at a protect ring, which is going to come back and bite me in the ass, guaranteed. Ah. <sighs> Yep, I will be back maybe, maybe Saturday with Clumsy. We it's been a while since we streamed. If not, then I don't know. See you next week, I guess. That would be it. I need a break from this game, even though 
<laughs> this is what I wanted to do. Um. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. All right, you all have a good evening. <laughs> <laughs> stay safe stay awesome if we're if we're still friends next week we'll stream on friday <laughs> <laughs> we'll be friends we just might be playing something else for a week oh, or something sounds uh, good y'all have a good night stay safe stay awesome and don't forget to check the laws i did not